so what's up so this is what we're gonna be making eventually so stick around and uh we're gonna recreate this whole thing from scratch we got some few problem areas like right up here above the k and uh on the h but uh that's not hard to fix but eventually this is what you're gonna be making at the end of this so let's go ahead and do this yeah okay hopefully you got your scene set up so we're gonna go ahead and dive into this we're gonna drop in our fast font uh our font we're gonna be breaking up eventually so now you might want to play with the level of detail blah 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 stuff like that make it a little bit uh smoother for one and now um assuming that you're gonna make a hda out of this eventually so whatever blah 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 stuff you're gonna be that whatever nodes you're gonna be having you're gonna eventually you know pile them up into a digital asset so you can pass it out to your friends and your workmates and whoever it is that needs to make a quick intro that they don't have to fundle you know mess up with the nodes over here now assuming that every time they load it up you want to make their name the username that they use for the computer that they have or them whatever it is to actually print out something over here when it loads up and I'm going ahead way ahead of myself but uh might be useful for somebody so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull up my path and shell I'm gonna just use the uh, shortcut keys and um, let's dive into a little bit of Python I know it's not really essential but uh, that's what we're gonna use for now so I know Houdini ships in with the OS module already um, you know you don't have to actually import it. it's already loaded up when you load up Houdini so I know my OS module is under the who OS um, whatever so I will just give it a variable name of OS is equals to who dot OS now that actually goes and gets every single uh, method from the OS right so pretty much you have all the access to the OS as of right now all in the variable called OS now under uh, if I could actually um, I know this is not a Python class but the OS I can get all the stuff that's uh, I can get from you know the operating system for whatever system uh, kind of system that you're using so Macintosh or Windows or Linux so in our case we could get anything but what we are looking for is uh, this guy right here his name is where he at environ I don't know where he at but he's somewhere over here I wish I could find him so we're gonna say um, my environ is equals to OS dot N. I know Houdini can actually fit it out for me, so there we go. And it's not callable, so it's not actually a function. It's more like a meth. I wanna say an <laughs> anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and that actually spits out a dictionary. So actually, if I type in my environ, it's gonna spit out a dictionary with every single thing that actually. Contain as you can see, it's all program flower files and blah blah blah, all kinds of stuff. And you can see, like, uh, hip file is there. You can see all kind of stuff that you can actually put up in your HDA now. And uh, um, my environment, I can print out all the keys that are actually available. And this is a function, so you can just go ahead call it, and it's gonna print out all the keys that you have, of which that's all there is. Now uh, you can print it in a much cleaner way, more like uh, for K in my environment. Uh, print K, so that way it just prints out everything in one single line. So now you can actually have all the stuff that you need for if for whatever you need to check on. What we need right now is uh user if i can actually find it so right here it's user that's the key that we need so that's what we're gonna put over here eventually so let's go ahead and do that really quick okay so we're gonna go ahead and get the font text let's give let's give it a variable name font text it's equal to I'm gonna just go ahead and drag this into the text port into the Python shell over here, and now that's actually gonna assign the variable. The variable is gonna be assigned to the uh, parameter over there for the font. So now font text is actually a string called frame dot dollar f. 
all right you might want to evaluate that as a string but we're not going to dive into that now you can actually go ahead and uh, font text dot set into whatever name that you want so in our case it will be youtube youtube me um come on so to speak so then you know you, that would be actually set up as your uh you know as the name that you want to put out so well kind of cool but not really what we want so what we want to do is actually go ahead uh, back to my environment so we're gonna ha go ahead and say a H our hda user his name is actually my environment uh then the user key that you, the key that you need over here as we saw is called user so actually you want to go ahead and uh say user all in caps because uh, that's the way the key is, uh, is. So that's that's gonna be a HDA user. So actually, if I type in HDA user now, you're gonna see that it actually spits out the name that I actually use for this particular computer, right? So now what we wanna do is actually go ahead set set that up for the font text. So font text, which is the, as you remember, this is what the font text is, which is the var the input that you're gonna be putting out uh, for the HDA eventually, is gonna be equal to. Now you might wanna customize it depending on how you wanna do it, but it's gonna be uh okay, yeah, my bad. <laughs> uh so oops, let's do that one more time. So font text hola dot set is equals to hi then i'm gonna format this so i'm gonna put a modular sign and an s this is formatting in python so essentially you're gonna put something else in where you have the dollar the modular sign and the s sign so that's gonna say hi come out to my in my case eventually so i'm gonna go ahead and put up a new line for that then i'm gonna go ahead and say welcome to houdini right then I'm gonna put in a modular sign then I'll put the HDA user as the variable name that you want to actually fit in right here okay then I'm gonna go ahead and close this and now if I press enter you'll see that uh, it says hi come on welcome to Houdini and pretty much you are actually setting this up for Python I'm gonna try get some tutorials out for that, but for now, let's uh, go ahead back in and actually let's forget about the Python shell and let's forget about this. Let's go just go ahead and use my name and let's work with that. So we got that set up. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into the effects for this. Okay, now going back to the effect over here. So. We need to, for one, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. I need to scatter some points in this, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop a scatter. And first problem comes up is that, uh, as you can see, it really doesn't work off the top. So, for one, you actually need to go ahead and kind of subdivide the mesh, whichever style you use is okay. I might just use a triangulate 2D because it just does the job for me a little bit better. Now, if I look at this, it kind of messes up my text. So I need to actually group my primitives and um, you know make you know tell it what I need to get triangulated into whatever. Now I have no group set up, so you might as well set up a group and then use the primitive uh, class to group the primitives. Or you can just go ahead and type in uh, however many numbers of uh, text you have over here. In our case, we have seven, so zero to six, because we only actually is this zero to six or zero to seven. Well, yeah, zero to six. It's gonna just break down the text you know as you can see it just spits out everything as needed and now we can have our uh, scatter sub do the thing exactly as we need now we're gonna be using a Voronoi noise for to tell you where to be uh, cut out the uh, you know the mesh eventually so we just need like uh, I would say 150 probably all scattered all over the place maybe 200 it just depends on what you really feel like so, so I mean it's all a lot of preference so now drop in our Voronoi we're gonna drop in a Voronoi fracture 
which is a HDA in its own right, as you can tell by the look of it. So we just plug in those two as is. And now if you actually look at this, if I shade this hidden line, and you can actually see how the whole thing is actually split up into segments, right? so cool we got our effect working and as usual it's all procedural so 200 points would actually make more segments and a different variation and if you see this you can actually get a you know a pattern that you might like in between now this one goes ahead and creates a lot of groups for us and if you actually look at the group names there's some things that you might not realize off the top but like if i actually do go ahead and select the uh, primitives if I select one, then I go ahead and move it. You actually realize there's some another primitive right inside it. <laughs> so like if I select this one and move it, you can actually see it's two primitives, not even two, my goodness. But you get the point. So in our case, um, what you want to go ahead and do is actually on this one don't create inside primitives inside surface so actually if you select this you're just creating one shell pretty much so to speak now we got that set up so we need to go ahead and for one delete all these groups because we really don't need them so we're gonna go ahead drop in a group geometry to drop to um whatever but we're actually not going to be grouping anything, so we're not going to enable this. So what we're going to go ahead and do is edit, delete, and we want to do, as you can see, we got a whole lot of groups. So what we're going to do is delete all of them. So you can just put the uh, asterisk sign over there, and that just goes and deletes everything. So now you have no group.